saltine crackers. Very, very easy. We're going to take a half a pound of butter. Most of you all know a half a pound of butter. I'm sorry. Yes, a half pound of butter. Half pound of butter is two sticks of butter. So I've got this good and soft. We're just going to melt that in a saucepan. Super easy. Nothing hard about this one either. We're going to get us a cookie sheet. And I may. Put a little parchment on it. Keeping the parchment laid down might be the bigger effort. All right. And my saltine crackers. Oh, food club crackers once again. Now I about left these too long this first batch. They weren't quite brown enough and then I left them for another minute and well, uh, about left them a minute too long. So word to the wise, keep an eye on them. They take only, the saltine cracker candy only takes about five minutes to cook. Go ahead and check this. I think we're well, yeah I don't think it hurt it a bit Recycle. Recycle. That's, that's exactly right let me go ahead and get our hornet's nest cake out real quick I apologize so we can get our other candy in here and these turned out beautifully All right, and we'll stick our cookies in while I'm, for about, these cookies take about 12 minutes on, in a 350 degree oven. I hear my butter going. All right, let's get our saltine crackers laid out here. One package of saltine crackers. How often do you buy saltine crackers and there's still some left in the box? And, but I think you can use some that aren't the newest once again. Because we're going to put a nice sugary coating on them and then some uh, chocolate. Um, another real simple, easy thing. Um, my aunt used to make a cracker candy, but she made it was like a caramel cracker and you crushed up the crackers. Um, but it was really good, real inexpensive. Um, and then Betty brought us one that, that, that had crackers in it too. And it was like a Heath bar type of uh, cracker candy. So there's a lot of things you can do with household products that you don't always uh, think about. Most of the time they're sitting in our pantries. Do what? Yes. And uh, it is kind of amazing of the things that you can make out of uh, simple things. All right, so you just arrange these on here. You don't have to use parchment paper. I'm just doing these because of time constraints and washing dishes tonight. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of my butter going. Okay. And like I said, this is just a sleeve or fourth a box of saltine crackers. And we're going to get our three-fourths a cup of sugar. Just white sugar. going to cook this. Give me time to slow down and talk a little bit more, like I haven't talked enough. We've actually got to get this to boiling. Then we're going to boil it for three minutes. Super easy. And if I watch it, it probably won't boil. Right. <laughs> Today it was boiling quicker than I wanted it to, and tonight it probably won't. But this candy, I haven't broken it apart. After we uh, put this on here, you let it cool just a little bit, then break it off into pieces. Or you can kind of cut it where you think the crackers are. Break it according to where the crackers are. Get this turned up here. And this stove, I have to admit, it's a little bit slower. There it goes, than my stove at home. All 
All right, here we go. And it is already boiling. Tonight we don't have the TV, their camera on the, or the TV on. I apologize. Some nights it's on and I have no clue till the end of class. And tonight, <laughs> all right, here we go. But it is boiling, but it only takes, like I said, three minutes. Well, has anybody planted potatoes or anything in a garden yet? Nope, too wet. We haven't either. Last couple of days, though, has made you want to do a few things like that, though. I don't know when the next good time is to plant potatoes. I haven't looked. We used to always plant potatoes on Good Friday. That's what we usually do, but we didn't do it this year. <laughs> All right. This, like I said, this is super easy. Now, the only thing that you might not have is chocolate chips, and I usually got chocolate chips, and I've got cream cheese and all those things in my house. Uh, my kids will say there's nothing in the pantry, and we'll have a whole walk-in pantry full of stuff, you know. All right. Minute and 40 seconds. So I think next week is, what is the theme next week? April showers, is that it? Amazing April. Amazing April. So we'll have something a little bit different next week. We won't have all candies next week. But I had a lot of candy recipes that we were gonna do at Christmas time and whatnot, but the weather was just not cooperating. So we had to kind of jump forward just a little bit. But today we've had just a beautiful, perfect day to do all of this. Now, once we, we get ready to put these in the oven, we need to set our oven at 425 degrees. And like I said, these cook in about five minutes just till they start to brown. And this is just about ready. We're just gonna drizzle this over our crackers. Hard to believe a cracker could taste like a candy bar when you're done. This just makes this thick and buttery and gooey. All right. We're just about there. We've got Administrative Professionals Day this month. Does anybody know that? There's actually a holiday on the calendar. And we have Earth Day this month also. The 22nd. And Administrative Professionals Day, I believe, is the 24th. All right. So we are ready to pour this on our crackers. I'm going to turn this off real quick. Kind of have to stir that. Stand right with it. And it, as you can see, it, it is getting quite thicker. Just sugar and butter is all it is. And we usually do try to do something for Earth Day in this store. Uh, it don't always happen. We try to coordinate uh, and uh, just with different schedules, we try to clean up this creek down in front of us. And uh, the city's usually pretty good in helping us, which they've been great in everything we ask. Well, trying to. It just, you don't have to because it kind of spreads out and seeps down through them. Um, when you start baking them. I try to coat each one with just a little bit on it so I know it's got some. Especially these on the end, they get a, tend to get a little browner. Yes, there, and there is one I used to make and I don't know where that recipe is. You use uh, Graham crackers, condensed milk, and chocolate chips. Do you remember the recipe I'm talking about? That's an older recipe too. It does, and it and it hard. Oh, it is so good! But that's all you use. You cook it, and uh, you mix all that together. And I found that in a cookbook. I don't know. It was from. I had bought this book at the library years ago, and they had it for sale. And it was one of the clubs in Kingsport. And you notice most of the ladies were people that things are named after their husband, you know, after their husbands and stuff. 
Um, but one of the clubs, I had bought this cookbook and it had some of the best little recipes in it and I cannot find that cookbook anywhere. But, um, but that recipe was in there. But it's, you just, you, as far as I can remember, you just, you cook it and you, make, you cook all that together and you pour it out in a pan. And it hard, it, you know, kind of gets yeah. thick like a bar. And it is really good, but as best I can remember, that's all you put in it. What was it again? It was, it was condensed milk, or Eagle Wren milk, uh, graham crackers, and chocolate chips. I believe, I believe that's all. I don't even think you put butter in it. You put coke, yeah, like it's like the magic bars. It's almost like the magic bars, but I guess it's just in kind of probably an earlier form. Okay, we're just waiting on these cookies to come out. We're going to take our crackers and we're going to put them in the oven. I'll show you what they look like in just a minute. Um, kind of looks like a buttery mess right now, but that's kind of kind of a, a caramely type, a type of thing that puts on them. But after you take those out of the oven. You put, you just shake a bag of chocolate chips on these, let it start melting, you just take a knife and just put it on here. And then all you do is just break your candy apart. And we've probably not let these cool just exactly enough, but where I put it on this parchment paper, we can, it'll just break like a candy bar. So, you could, I didn't, I didn't in this one. Uh, you can, and it calls for it, and I had some over here. But I had put nuts and so many other things tonight. I didn't put them in this, but you're, you're supposed to put it on top. But that's why I didn't. This last batch I will, but we had nuts in the uh, butterscotch cake and nuts in the cookies. So I thought we better have one thing that don't have nuts. <laughs> but anyway, we'll go ahead and put those in. Well, that's be in the class tonight. I'll show you what these look like when we pop them out of the oven as we're sampling our recipes. Anybody got any questions?